Welcome to the M3 Bear Essentials. My name is Malcolm Travers. In this episode, we discuss how nostalgia for past relationships can impact current ones, and how off-color comedy can sometimes insult friends. Three hot topics. Do you feel, sorry, do you think it's fair to ask your partner to delete photos and other mementos of past relationships? At what point would you would you believe your partner isn't over his ex because of those artifacts. Uh, a couple of answers. Uh, if you have to ask your lover to do some shit like that, you don't love who you are. <laughs> My opinion, keep them. It's a reflection of the past and a reminder of how good you have it now. Uh, someone else says it's actually a disrespectful request. Uh, he shouldn't have to erase parts of his history to prove he's fully invested in the current relationship. Uh, if you feel he does, that's a failing on your part. Sorry. Uh, someone else says, deleting photos of the past does not erase the hard drive of memories. It's of no consequence. Uh, as a photographer, I have photos of every man I've ever dated. Wow. So sorry, dude. Um, some partners disliked it. Some didn't care at all. Either way, it never came to a point of contention for either of them. And I'm trying to find another response because as it um, turns out, uh, you know, isn't it ironic that this question was posed by my ex and then another ex piped in. So it's wow. really, I think this whole thing is just fucking with me. But, <laughs> no, Bree, it's I, not fucking with you. It's just by the way, I have never asked any ex to really get it. Just for the record. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was, I think it's unfair to ask someone to remove anything that represents a time in a person's life. Uh, the time I spent in someone else's life should be represented if I feel like it deserves memorable representation. Ongoing active and present activity or material that may suggest that my ex or present mate's ex is still together is a totally different story. How someone feels and treats a love from the past, depending on the situation, could very well represent the depths and or limitations of their present love for you. Neither would I ask my present mate to stop talking to an ex if they are friends. If she, he, or she tells me they are friends, I would have to believe them until given a reason to believe otherwise. Just my two cents. Thank you, ex. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's just, isn't it ironic, don't you think? So the question is, um, <clears throat> do you think it's fair to ask your partner to delete photos and other mementos of past relationships? At what point would you believe your partner isn't over his ex because of those artifacts? I was started off. Uh, I think it's kind of crazy to ask your uh, your partner to delete anything because that's just kind of crazy. Um, it just it does it does not seem like a sane thing to do. Uh, and also, I, I think it's more of a question of your insecurity. Uh, I would probably have a um, I would definitely again I'm all about honesty. I would have a conversation. So if I'm coming over your place and it's a whole whole wall full of pictures of you two together, like for real, homie, what's up? What, what, what's up? What's up with the pictures of all? But <laughs> But it's sort of like, if this is something that you did, then that's what you did. Because, you know, at this point, like, neither one of us are virgins. We all have access. So uh, I think it's more to ask your partner to delete everything or mementos. It's more of an insecurity, and I would question the stability of your relationship. And, like, at what point would you believe your partner isn't over his ex because of these artifacts? Um, probably if they keep bringing them up. Um, like, I would have a problem if I was dating somebody and they, had a, and they kept wearing a charm with their ex's picture in it. That's a problem. I would have an issue with that. Or uh, a, a ring that the ex gave him, I would have a problem with that. So, so but again... What if it's just a nice piece of jewelry and they like it? Yeah, fuck you. Take that shit off, man. No, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> because I've yeah. a piece of jewelry. Okay. There's a piece of jewelry that I always wear. And yeah. it's got my name on it and my ex's name on it. But it's... <laughs> Yeah, just know it unless I told you. Yeah, you and shit. you full of shit, nigga. Yeah. I don't know why you. Should. Not unless you go buy me another one. Okay, and I'm cool with that. But don't be trying yeah. to. Okay, right. well, if you're fine with that, then I'm cool with it. Hey, I'll take it off. Don't be trying to act new. Like, no, I don't care for him. <laughs> the fresh, <laughs> the fresh. I pretty much agree with Breeze. Pretty much 100 percent on this one. Like. Like, I wouldn't ask somebody to take care of this stuff. Like, you know, everybody has a past. Obviously, everybody has old relationships, old boyfriends. And, like, when it comes to Facebook, I'll probably say, I don't, you, it's, it's not, I don't care if you remove them or not. Because, I mean, I feel like everybody has a past. And it's probably a lot of work to do it. You know, now, now it depends. If, I guess there's a certain point where you might be like, okay, if, if you're con- continually reposting stuff about y'all being together all the time, that would be different. Um, but as long as, 
you know, I'm reflected in your life, and you know, you have pictures of me up there from that point that we became together. I think I'll be cool with that. Like old jewelry, um, you probably, you probably are not to to put it like in front of somebody else's face about like that your love was with somebody else. You probably should, you know, you could probably find something else that you like that's significant of your current life. Um, I wouldn't say you got to throw it away because I feel like mementos are cool to, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with going back and reflecting on things that you went through in your life because we all have a past. Like, you know, you have a box of old pictures of old girlfriends or boyfriends or, um, you know, old stuff like that. It's cool to go back and review it sometimes and just kind of reflect on where you've, where you've been and where you've gone. And even a little bit of, because I think we all have a, bit, a little bit of nostalgia that's within us about how you grew up, your life, and that's okay. But I mean, I think it just has to be on a very limited basis. It doesn't need to be rehashed over and over. You don't need to be talking about it like Bree said all the time. And um, you just you just need to be reflect respectful and try to make sure that the new person is reflected in your personal life, whether it be pictures in your house or social media or whatever. So M3 on topic. Uh, how do you deal with the friend who senses humor consistently upsets people? How do you know when your off code jokes are accepted by your friends? Okay. You people are fucking with me. I know you keep saying it. I remember things. your response <laughs> about this. I think I'm rich on reply. You're coming on this, please. All right. Uh, tell them the answers. Tell them I have friends like that who try to make jokes that I never caught all the time. I told them some people are good at jokes and some people are not. If you're not, stop telling them. I'll come up with better material. Uh, someone says, I don't know because I'm usually that guy. Uh, someone else said, <laughs> some of my friends tell, tell me I'm a smart ass all the time. And I'm not trying to be in any way. I'm just being honest. And we're going to end it with one person uh, who uh, does not believe in the economy of words, so I'm going to read his own response. Um, bear with me. Uh, question one. How would you deal with a friend who sense of humor consistently upsets people? Answer one. First, if you recognize it is humor, if you recognize it is humor, why get upset? That's a flaw on the upset person, not the humorous. I'm neither responsible for one friend's sense of humor nor responsible for another friend's lack of sense of humor. It's a poor friendship that is always about choosing a side. Some people handle and cope with humor, and far be it for a realist like me to prevent a person from handling and coping without the crutch of drugs and alcohol. Sometimes humor can be ill-timed or in poor taste. In those cases, I would simply call it out and move on. The friend doesn't need to be dealt with. Perhaps a super sensitive other friend should be dealt with. A sense of humor is like opinion and taste. There is no accounting for it. If it gets laughs, it's funny. If someone's nose gets out of joint about it, it's their problem. Question two. How do you know when your off-color jokes are accepted by your friends? Answer two. Why would I care? Funny is funny. Fuck them if they can't take a joke. Uh, they don't have to be accepted by anyone. A joke is a joke. If the humor is lost on an individual or a group of individuals, that's on them. Yeah, I think my response was, I think it was a bet that or a meme that said, fuck them if they can't take a joke. <laughs> okay, so like, this is common for me. I am extremely sarcastic. Even on a daily basis, you can be talking to me, and I will say something sarcastic. So the point, I don't even know I do it sometimes. And it gets me in trouble all the time, especially at work. Um... I, I, just, I don't really know. Like, um, I, don't, I don't know. Prime example, like, I was at the... <laughs> I don't know what to do with that because I'm the friend. I'm the friend who gets in trouble. Prime example, though, I'm, I'm at work. Somebody said something to me that was, I guess, provocative to me. And my response to her was, that, well, that's okay. I'm used to dealing with patients, um, mental patients. And so she felt some kind of way. And she's like, well, did you just call me a mental patient? And I was like, well, is that how you took it? You know? And truth be told, I was calling her a mental patient, but I was saying it in a way that I was being evasive at the same time. Um, and of course, I got my hand slapped for it because she felt some kind of way behind it, but everybody else thought it was hilarious, you know? Um, so, yeah, your friend, you can have friends that can be somewhat um, unapproachable as a result, but I don't think that because of the way I am, it makes me unapproachable, or I don't think I make people generally uncomfortable around me as a result of my sometimes dark, off-topic humor, off-color humor. Um, but I think if that would be the case, then yeah, that's definitely a problem. Um, but generally speaking, some people are just like that. Some people just run a consistent system of kind of off-color humorous statements that if you are an extremely sensitive person or if it applies to you, you're going to take offense to it. Otherwise, you're not going to care. It's funny. I'm not a jokester very much, and I'm not real sarcastic because I know people can get their feelings hurt easily. So I try to, I try to avoid those things and I probably will try to avoid not being around it as much. I'm not real sensitive, but a little bit. So well, I didn't tell you. And I'm serious. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. go ahead. No, you are very hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can't help it. It's like it's my personality. I really try to be not so serious. And I do like having people around me that are jokey because I, I think it helps me relax and be not so serious. But my initial like when I be at work when people be trying to joke, I'm just like 
like most of the time, like you know what, this is a serious place. This is a medical facility. We don't need to be joking around too much. You know, we're here for business. You know, it's, it's just my personality. So, but I do try to lighten up because it is fun to be. I do like to laugh, but I just I don't know. It doesn't come easy for me because I'm not I'm just my personality is serious. So, yeah, I am uh, <laughs> constantly joking around all right. the time, <laughs> and probably 98 percent of the things that come out of my mouth are probably offending someone. Uh, so I would say that the question is how would you deal with a friend whose sense of humor consistently upsets people? Being someone who constantly upsets people, I would say if you are a friend of mine and I'm upsetting you, feel free to tell me. Uh, because the idea at the end of the day is I'm really not trying to hurt people. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not trying say, to hurt people. I don't think that's where attention is to hurt people's I, mean, I think a lot of times with any people like somebody who like has that type of sense of humor, their attention is not to hurt a fan right. off. It's probably to make fun and probably be a little dirty and you know, maybe do a little tinge, but I'm not trying to kill you for the most part. Um so I would say, like, my advice would be, like, just tell them. Just, hey, that was not cool. Because a lot of times there's some shit that's just personal to you, and nobody knows. Like, I can tell you, like, one of the my running things, gags, I guess, if somebody, like, if I'm around a group of people, usually black folks, and somebody brings out uh, dominoes, and they'll ask me, like, do you want to play dominoes? My automatic response is, like, no, I've never been to jail. I, like, automatically. Uh, I always say that. And recently, I was at a gathering with my friends. Somebody brought dominoes, and I was about to say it, like, "Hey, Breeze, you want to play dominoes?" I was about to say, "Nope, I've never been to jail. Don't know how to play." It. And but I caught it because I knew that a friend of mine's boyfriend just got out of lockup, and it's not necessarily a pleasant person. So you know, if you know better, you do better. Uh, so of course, I'm not going to friend my friend. I'm not going to friend their boyfriend. I'm not going to say that. Uh, I also have a nephew who is uh, nonverbal uh, autistic, and I know that the mother does not like uh, phrases like retarded, retarded. I do not. I try not to say that. You know, I, I'm trying not to offend people or tear up relationships. But you know, sometimes a bitch is a bitch, and a nigga is a nigga, and you know, you just gotta go with the flow with it. All right. Thank you for watching, and to support M3, please like, leave a comment, and share this video. And for more information, please visit mailmediamind.com.